Miami seems to be trending very well with four-star defensive lineman from Bluntstown, Florida, Artavius Jones, who had a, a really good visit. He bonded with uh, Coach Joe Salavea. The two of them seem to have really good relationship. That is his primary recruiter. Uh, you know, Artavius, the only other uh, OV that he's taken so far, obviously he's taken tons of unofficials, but he's taken an OV to UCF early in the month. He just OV'd at Miami. Things are trending pretty positively for the Canes. How good is Artavius Jones, Brian? This is a really great story. I saw his film like January or something. And for people that don't know, Blunstown's up in the panhandle. It's a 1A program. It's not very big. And his film was hilarious because he was running over guys. I saw that. <laughs> I mean, it, I was joking with him about it uh, a long time ago when he first, I think he got the UCF offer or something. And he got several other cents. But he plays different spots. I put him on offense and give him the ball and do things. And it's just like, it's hilarious. But his foot speed, his lateral quickness, and his power, you cannot teach. He has NFL ability. If he was at Miami Central, he'd have 50 offers. He's just wow. at the wrong school. Yeah. So this is one of those kids. I don't know what his ranking is, and I could care no less. He can play for any school in the country. He's just at Blunstown. Uh, I think he's a kid that just needs some refinement, just <laughs> technical work, but he's 285, 290. This is a kid that can plug and play at a lot of programs. So very important recruit for Big Joe and Miami because they really do need, as you know, Alex, defensive tackle help. They need at least two guys, not only a D-tackle, but big guys. It's yeah. There aren't a lot of them. Miami is thin at D-tackle in terms of sheer size. This kid could help. Brian Smith, recruiting expert of the Locked On Network, is with us. Um, you know, it's recruiting uh, wide receivers has been – it's it's been challenging for Miami for the past year because of how poor of a season they had on offense last year that a lot of, like, the five-star guys, they have a wait-and-see approach, right? They want to see how yeah. Miami plays this coming year, uh, but they have landed a four-star already in Chance Robinson who reaffirmed his Miami commitment after his official visit over the weekend. He is locked in. And the Hurricanes are making progress with a four-star out of Miami Palmetto Senior High, which is just a few miles from where I sit right now, and that's Ja'Cory Barney. What I find interesting about Barney, Brian, when I, when I watch his tape is he plays bigger than he looks, right? I mean, he's like a six-foot, 160, 165-pounder. But, you know, his catch radius seems really good for a guy that size and the way he fights for contested balls. But he also has the speed that goes along with it. So I, I think this guy is a gem, uh, and Miami seems to stand really well with him. What can you tell me about Barney? I like his natural quickness, especially laterally. I saw him play this spring in the uh, Jamboree up in Palm Beach. He can move, man. If you don't get hands on him at the line – Barney's really difficult to slow down. Screens, short passes, something very simple for a quarterback can be a 65-yard touchdown in a heartbeat. Wow. Never have enough of those guys either. So the speed is what I always like to look at first, but he has a frame that can add 20 pounds as well. Is he thin right now? Yes. That's my number one concern is just getting weight on him. I think he needs to redshirt and kind of go through the process, but he can be a punt return guy. He can be a slot guy. And eventually he can be an outside receiver as well. Miami needs more versatility with their wide receiver room. Barney would bring that. And it's always nice to get some of the Miami Public League kids, too. So he's right down the road. I mean, what, what do you think, Alex? 15 to 25 minutes, depending on traffic from where, where yeah. his high school is to the not U. I mean, yeah. yeah, no, it's not it's not that difficult. So these are the kind of kids you got to win. Um, Nebraska is, has been trending for him, but then Miami really turned up the juice on the recruiting effort, and he visited. I like Miami. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, – Really talented prospect. 